Do you like it when somebody treats you like a baby? Hi, my name is Ken Yates, and I'm with Grace Evangelical Society, and I would like to share a few things with you from a passage in the scriptures. When I ask if you liked it when people treat you like a baby, my guess is that probably all of us would say, well, no, I don't like that. But particularly, uh, perhaps if you're a guy, uh, I spent a lot of time in the military, and I know that if I would ask soldiers, do you like it if people treat you like a baby, they would have said, absolutely not. But it's interesting, uh, in Isaiah chapter 49, there's an interesting verse. The prophet writes, can a woman forget her nursing child or can a woman forget her baby and not have compassion on the son of her womb? Surely they may forget, yet I will not forget you. And the I there is, of course, the Lord. When I read that verse about can a woman forget her baby, just recently, there was a viral video of a woman in a major U.S. city who was walking with her baby down a street. And out of nowhere, this car appears and on purpose runs her over. And she's kind of like in, a, in an alley and there's like a wall there. And when this car hits her and the little stroller that she's pushing, she goes flying up in the air and comes slamming down on the pavement. And the the carriage that's her baby's in goes crashing up against that wall. And what I'm about to tell you probably is not going to surprise any of you. But the woman is thrown up in the air and she comes down and you wonder what, what happened to her. Is she hurt? But she gets up immediately from the pavement and she doesn't check on her own injuries. She, she's not mad. Oh, I'm, she's not thinking about being mad at the guy who ran her over on purpose, by the way. But she has one concern. And you know what that concern is. How's her baby? And she springs up. And for all I know, she's got a broken bone. It doesn't matter. She runs to check to make sure that her baby's okay. Now, in this case, her baby was fine. But that's exactly what I think of when I read this. Can a woman forget her baby? And of course, we all know the answer to that is absolutely not. And in one sense, it's very surprising that this woman sprung up like that from the pavement without, without checking on herself. I'm sure she was hurt, but it didn't matter. She, she ran to, to the carriage to see what was going on in there. Because we know the love for a mother. Well, a mother has for her child. Uh, we even have a term for it, you know, don't mess with a mama bear. Even if she only weighs 95 pounds, you don't mess with her. Uh, if you get between her and her kid, you got a fight on your hands. And obviously this woman, uh, is a picture of that in this video, uh, that I saw. But of course there are rare exceptions where a woman, for whatever reason, um, and, and we hear about these every now and then, and they're very strange where a woman would not care for her baby. And, and, Isaiah says that. Surely they may forget. Yeah, maybe you know a, a, or you hear an account of some woman who doesn't care for her, uh, her child. You know, sometimes we refer to there was, she's not very motherly. And that's weird. You know, again, the woman in that video, that's what we would expect. Even though it's, it's very heroic and even though it's great, when we, after we look at it, we go, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the way moms are. But what's interesting is the second part of that verse. And again, it's in Isaiah 49, 15. Even though you might find a case of a mother who might forget or not might not be concerned about her child, the Lord says, yet I will never forget you. And in this context of Isaiah, what it's talking about is the people of Israel. 
Uh, Isaiah prophesied to a people who would be taken off into captivity, and because of their sin, uh, that's exactly what would happen to them. And God says, my concern for you is like the mother in that video. Yes, I've had to discipline you, and this is what's going to happen, but I'll never forget you. Israel is my son, and like the mother's love for a baby, that's the way I am, except I'm even more so. Because you might find a mother who doesn't care for her child, but that's never the case with me. And in that wonderful news for a believer, as a believer, even though, as, particularly as guys who are macho, like, well, no, I don't want to be treated like a baby. The Lord says, no, that's exactly the way I treat you. I have the love for a mother for her child, and that never fails, even if I have to discipline you. When you become a believer in Jesus Christ, you receive eternal life, and you become the child of God. As John says in 1 John 3, behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us, that we should be called the children of God. We are his and the example of Israel in the Old Testament, and even though when he had to discipline them, it didn't change his relationship with them, their basic relationship with him, even though he had to discipline them. In that story I gave you about the video, that baby had done nothing wrong. And yet that mother and, and, and the mother springs uh, to see how he's doing, even though she had injuries herself. God's love for us and our relationship with him is such that even when we do something wrong, which was the case with Israel, he says, I'll never forget who you are. I'll never forget the covenant that I made with this nation. And for the New Testament believer, you're a child of God. And even if he disciplines you, and even if you uh, lose rewards in the kingdom because of your unfaithfulness to him, you're still his child. I started off by saying, do you like it when people treat you like a baby? And I think the most natural response is, well, no. Again, I think about my military background, if you were to ask that, no, 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 no. But I'm glad that the Lord treats me like his child, like his baby. And I think of that when I see the love that woman had in that video for her child, multiply that many, many, many times over. And that's the love of the heaven, our Heavenly Father for us who have believed in Jesus for eternal life. That's a great feeling. If you like what you've heard, press the like button. And we would also ask you to press the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. And remember, focus on Christ.